What's going on guys? It is your boy Angry SA Gamer and in today's video I have what I truly think I found the best build for Shaysicle, the latest hero in Castle Clash. And uh, I would like to take you through the thought process of why I think this is the best build. But before we do, leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell notification button. Also, I do have a live stream coming up tonight. Make sure to join that. Um, it is going to be uh, 6 p.m. UTC uh, or 8 p.m. CAT. And uh, you can stand a chance to win 2,000 gems in that live stream. So be sure to join us okay let's get into this why i think i found the perfect build and we tested this out in the live stream as well and this is the thought process survival uh, negates all damage for three seconds and regains hp equal to 2500 percent attack when attacked um we have Stealth Insignia, when HP is below 35, raises attack by 250%, attack speed by 120%, and becomes elusive for 4.5 seconds. And then we have <clears throat> Blood Barrier, reduces damage received by 75%, no cooldown. When attacked, has a 70% chance to be immune to three conditions instance. Three condition instances for the next three seconds. Condition immunity cannot stack and will block the condition that was inflicted first. Cool down three seconds. Then we have uh, Abyss Seal. Becomes immune to inhibit for 2.5 seconds every five seconds throughout the battle. Also reduces energy of all enemy heroes by 70% or 70 when this uh, effect ends. Now, why this build is amazing is if we go to the skill, let's listen up real quick. Deals 1520% attack damage each of all enemy targets in front with an arc, within an arc, and places a hemorrhage, a hemorrhage mark on that on that lasts for 10 seconds on targets that receive damage from the skill. Targets with a hemorrhage mark cannot receive healing and damage uh, uh, and receive damage equal to 1% of their max HP every 6 seconds. Uh, targets that already have a hemorrhage mark will receive damage equal to 25% of their max HP, ignores damage limits of targets, and their hemorrhage mark, hemorrhage mark duration resets, cooldown 6 seconds. Now here is the thing why I built this hero the way I did is this part. This hero is immune to silence and reduces damage received by 70%. When she uses her skill, she becomes elusive for 3 seconds. Now that elusive syncs up perfectly with stealth elusive and that syncs up perfectly with survival's uh, HP gain of 2500%. So here's what happens. You do an attack with her, she goes elusive with her skill, right? Then right after that, she goes elusive with elusive skill for 4.3 seconds. And then when she comes back, she gains full HP because of survival. And that loops around. As soon as she gets hit, she hits, goes elusive, stays elusive for a while, gains back all the HP, and then the cycle continues. So... Uh, going into a never-ending loop of being elusive and gaining HP. Now, how can that be useful? Well, she places a hemorrhage, her hemorrhage mark on other um, heroes, and the other heroes uh, can help her deal damage and blah, blah, blah. So let's take her into battle, and I'm going to go on the top heroes currently, and I'm going to use Bong's account to do so. So the first hero up is Dynamica. Now, Dynamica doesn't die because he's a beast. He is maxed out. She isn't maxed out. Not even close to being maxed out. So we need to keep that in mind. But here we go. Now you'll see what happens. Skill activation. Boom. Goes elusive. Stays elusive. Comes back. Goes elusive again because of elusive. Right? She's gone. She didn't take any damage. So uh, survival is not doing anything there. But when she does take damage, like there, as you can see all the damage she's taken... Now she's going to come back and survival is going to kick in. Bam. Boom. Just like that. And that's a loop that's going to endlessly continue. Now I've tried putting Victory Horn on her. 
Um, but sh for some reason, she dies. And Victory Horn, I put on her because I want her to deal a bit more damage. Um, I don't want any more damage reduction, like Ancient Insignia or anything like that. I want damage dealing, but that's a bit difficult. Um, so the best one I found is Blood Barrier. Um, but I've only tested her against Dynamica. We are going to test her now against other heroes in this list. Seradica, Celestica, Malefica. And see how she'll stand up to those guys. Um, so as you can see, she takes a lot of damage, but she just gains it all back. But Dynamica's not taking any damage. So let's get the next hero prepped and see what happens. Now, before I get into attacking Seradica, Celestica, and Malefica, I'm going to go down the list that Bong has there and the way his heroes are structured. So first up is Cold Hair, also maxed out compared to her, which isn't. So let's see if he will be able to do anything, or would she be able to take him down at least? Which I hope would be the case. Uh, I do want her to, I do want to see her take down another legend. Um, she is taking a beating right now. Seems like she is going to die. She did go elusive, unless, there we go. Okay, so, uh, survival did kick in there, which is uh, really nice. And then it also makes her... Um, Invo uh, uh, invulnerable to any attacks negates all damage for three seconds she gained all her hp back completely full on hp right now uh, but not able to get a skill activation um, she does but it does absolutely nothing to call her but she does stay alive which is good I don't see her going to do any damage, but I also don't see Cold Hair taking it down. So, next legend. We do have Celestica right now. I have no idea what's going to happen. Because she's going to be confused at some point And hit herself. She's confused. She goes elusive, at least. Gains her HP back. Does no damage. Once again... These heroes I'm going up against are fully maxed out compared to Shaysicle, which isn't nearly fully maxed out. She's got no relics. Breakthrough 37. Her enchantment is only skill 7. Where most of these heroes are skill 9 and 10. And Celestica did manage... To take it down with the confusion. So that's something to think about in the future. Next up is Radica. Which is also a beast boy hero. So let's see. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope she deals some sort of damage. Um, she was basically dead. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do that again. But place her on a side where I could see her. Seradica so absolutely destroyed her right now. Seradica so is a beast boy. That's what he is. Okay, so she isn't even able to get into that loop. That never-ending loop that ended pretty damn quickly. Sword Sage. Uh, up next. She... What the heck is happening? Okay, uh, I'm going to run that back. I was about to say he got the mark, the hemorrhage, the hemorrhage. He's got a hemorrhage right now, but as soon as I wanted to spit it out, she got one shot. She got a hemorrhage, a hemorrhage, he's got a hemorrhage, died. Bam. My goodness. Okay. Next hero, Flame Dark Lord. Up next, Flame Dark Lord. Let's see. What? Ooh, he's gonna die. Hit him. Bam. Skill done. Yes, he came back. She's gonna die. No, he's gonna die. Hit him. Okay, he's pretty weak against her, though. 
He's back. Go back. Go back. Hey. Blind as a bat, this one. Blind as a bat. Oh, she's going back. You think she'll go back? C Flame, come come out. Come. Nah. She won. That's good. Nice. First fight. Damn good hero. I think this is going to be the last hero of the day. And this is Malefica. Um, I'm truly scared for, Malef for Malefica's sake. He's going to die. Come on. All right. There you have it. The champion. There she is. Um, my... Need to build her a bit better. But okay. We need to take this into account. 7 to 7. Uh, 4. Not even 1 star. Break to 37. A lot to do on this hero to get her to that stage where she will be the best. Or um, maybe she's just not cut out for this. But okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.